Louisiana Beer Reviews looks at a very American lager, Paradise Park, from Urban South Brewery of New Orleans, Louisiana. Uh, this is the first video review for this beer in the world. Uh, it's got a date, guys. Canned on January 10th, 2018. And I could have had it maybe a week after it was canned. I've just been sitting on it, unfortunately. It says right here on the can, a malt beverage. Makes sense. Beer is made with barley malt. Now, Paradise Park, they said on the website, was name, it was the name of a trailer park in Louisiana. That's the guy who started this brewery, Mr. Landry. So that was a trailer park in his town. So Oh baby, it was paradise. Okay. In Berlin by the wall. Okay. Should be this way. Well, it's hard to get the correct light for the correct scenery. Whoa! Now, my friend David, you see him with the big beard. I used to have a big beard, but I can keep it. He said, I was telling him about this beer today on the phone. He said, uh, Yeah, I had that on it. That stuff's kind of good. <laughs> He's saying it's kind of good. <laughs> but he wasn't here today to do the review. A very stark white head, and it is. Cloudy. That is a milky beer for a lager. It is cloudy and I see, oh yes, bubbles and yeast chunks all throughout. It looks kind of like the Victory Prima Pills or the Oscar Blues Mama's Little Yellow Pills, but I didn't like either one of those too much. I mean, they were well made and all, but I guess they were well made. I'm sitting there talking about they taste like aspirin. <laughs> Maybe they weren't well made. Right, I didn't like them. If I'm going to drink a Pilsner, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go to my Therns and I'm going to get a six pack of Pilsner Urkel. But let's give this a fair shake. Or if I can find Stout Old Pramen, but I can't get it. I can't get it. I got it in New York City once in Manhattan. All right, so let's check it out. Uh, Rape Beer and Beer Advocate, they don't even have 10 reviews on either site. I didn't check on tap. I guess they might have like 5,000. <laughs> I don't know. It smells uh, pungent, <sighs> malty, biscuity. Yeah, biscuity in that kind of like a Kronenborg or um, golden pheasant type situation yeah it smells lively I mean really I'm not trying to be sarcastic it just it seems like it has a lot of pep to it although you know if you get Stato Parman or Golden Pheasant or Kronenborg or Grolsch they're gonna be much clearer than this milky item so the appearance is not a beauty let's go with it but the aroma is let's go with the taste a little cold front came through a little chilly right here not really too chilly, but a little. Good. Mm. American lager. Nah, tastes more like a Euro lager. I think this is using just barley malt. Water hops and yeast. Um, it's 4.5% alcohol and there's 10 international bitterness units, so not going to have much bitterness. It's kind of biscuity. There's a little lemon aspect with it. The mouthfeel is uh, 
kind of heavy. That's I think that's why it looks that way. It's at least high, medium. The finish is kind of wet. Well, well, well. I'm going to post some notes below because uh, I think it, I didn't bring my notes out here. I wrote some stuff down about the some of the some of the ingredients. So, but then I'm thinking, oh yeah, they don't have video reviews, so I didn't bring the notes. Kind of stupid, huh? Um, but I forgot. It was two kind of um, specialty hops. I think they were talking about. Dang, I'm mad that I forgot that. But I'll just put the link in the notes below. But it doesn't matter in too much. The, the important thing is, is it good? Would you want to buy it? How does it stack up to these uh, other loggers? Well, we had the Michelob original. That's a lot cleaner item. This one has that uh, kind of weird, I'm telling you, it's like a weird lemony thing. But it's not a good lemony thing. Um, I think the Michelob is way better. I'm just using that as a reference point. It's a lager. Styropram and Pilsner lager. And the, the golden pheasant. And the the wonderful um, Pilsner or Cal. They are so much better than this. Um, but I mean, I'm not, it, ooh, it really clouded up after I did the swish and pour. Wow. <laughs> hey, hey, say hello to Cloudy Beards. I mean, this thing is incredible. But I don't buy beer just to admire them. Let me admire the, the appearance. People want beer that tastes good. It's like a lot of cereal grain. I'm telling you, they must have wheat in this thing. Do you think they have white wheat in here? I'm thinking they have white wheat in here. I don't think this is coming from barley, people. It has some of that white wheat. There's a brand called white wheat bread. Taste to it. I don't know. <laughs> but I've been told that in the heat of the day a man died of cold. Um, one more sip. It's kind of like every sip is less enjoyable than the first, the previous sip, and the IEUs, the International Enjoyment Units, are dropping. That's a nice thick head, but I don't know. It's like a batter. <laughs> it's... It's okay, I just drank a milk. <laughs> You're gonna say, that's it. I'm out of here, I'm unsubscribing. Somebody told me that, you talk too monotone and you're depressing. <laughs> I'm unsubscribing, I said, well, he said, I know you're not gonna change. That's true. Uh, um, I am not monotone, can you understand what I'm trying to tell you? Um, I was going to say, I drank a Milwaukee's Best Premium, and I got to say, that one was better than this. And you say, that's a, not a craft beer. This is a craft beer, you moron. I know, but this don't taste as good as that one. Um, I guess it's like a C plus. You know, it's kind of like high average. I got to save some for the written review, but um, sorry. I'm over here supposed to be uh, right Champion, championing Louisiana brands, but uh, I, I seem like half the time I'm saying, oh, it ain't that good. Oh well. We're the sportsman's paradise. That's what it says on the car license plates. It doesn't say we're the brewer's paradise. All right, so, les <laughs> les bon temps roulé for the weather. It's been warming up since the last week of January and kind of, mm, for the beer. And I'm going to end this review by saying, y'all come on down to Southeast Louisiana.